supposed to be out of here by now. Right? What time is it? Eight o'clock. Jesus. That the definition. Double header. Complete team win using everybody that you possibly could. Yeah. You know, it's just uh, you know I I know it's kind of old. Uh, I'm not articulate enough nor smart enough to come up with new things to say, but this is this is how these guys play. You know, they were dog tired. They came out of the blocks fast, real pleased with how they came out. They kind of hit the wall about the fourth or fifth <laughs> inning and kept grinding, kept grinding, kept grinding, and finally we caught a break. And they made a mistake and we scored a run. But you know, if that if if that kid throws over the plate, we're, we're probably out there still playing. It's probably the 14th or 15th inning. You know, I, I don't think we were going to get two or three hits in an inning. It was going to take a breakdown by Missouri State to give us an opportunity. And you didn't have any pitchers left. No, right? Eric was the last one. You know, Eric was it, and he's thrown two innings all year before today. And you really got to tip your hat to that kid going out there and throwing strikes and struck out two guys to complete inning. I believe it was 12. And so, you know, it, it, he's been he's been in the shadows here all season and. You know, he's a very good player coming out of junior college, and he's been slow to adjust to Division One. You know, he's a two-way guy too. He hits a little bit, pitches, and you just never know. You just never know when your opportunity is going to come. He's been throwing bullpens all year, and today was his day. He said the cleaned-up version of your two visits to the mound were throw strikes. Is that basically? I the told message? him throw it over a plate. The guy hits it over the scoreboard. He hits it over the scoreboard. Let's just go. Let's figure it out. We're not going to, you know, walking stuff isn't an option. So throw it in there. Sometimes these guys fear contact. You know, it was a big hit up there. They had the, th- uh, you know, the Chafin kid. I think he was hitting three today. But just throw it in there, Eric, and see what he can do. I mean, well, these guys are pretty good behind you defensively. And, you know, they were tired too. And, and it was going to take a walk or something kind of crazy for either team to score. So I just said, Eric, throw it in there. If he hits it over the scoreboard, we're okay with it. Let's go. You've Let's figure some, it out. Yeah, you've won some games in pretty unique ways. And you've said that this team is special. Is that kind of yeah. lend itself? I mean, it's just kind of one of those crazy years. Everything's adding up for you. Yeah, the stars are lined up a little bit for the Creighton baseball team this year because, like you say, we won games in a lot of different ways. Today, again, was I think now we're 18 and 6 in one run games. And haven't won one yet with a wild pitch pass ball scenario like we got today. But, you know, look at some of the things that have happened in this tournament. You know, we score a run on a catcher's block. You know, last night was kind of a you know a, a nightmare situation for the Missouri State defense. They gave us a lot of opportunities, and then today they really played well today defensively, and then something bad happens in the 12th. So, you know, we're just going to continue this ride as long as we can. Uh, we're going to see what we can muster up tomorrow night. See if we got guys that can you know pick their arm up and run out to the mound and try to deliver a strike or two, and, and uh, you know Wichita State's. Tremendous off offensive team, so you know we'll see what happens. Who do you go with? We're gonna start Jonas tomorrow. Uh, any idea how long you're? We're not gonna extend him too much. We guys, you know, we think we're gonna play the following week, so we want to be smart about it. It'll be more of a pitch count thing than anything with Jonas. So we're hopeful that he's efficient. You know, he's anxious to get out there again. How glad, how glad are you that you guys get the chance to get some redemption against Wichita State? Well, we're really glad that we get to play in a championship game. You know, we really don't care who it's against. I mean, there's a nice rivalry between us and Wichita State. It goes back, you know, before I ever got here. You know, it probably started in the in the early 90s with that classic in the World Series in 91 that a lot of people talk about. So this is the rivalry's there. And, and uh, you know, we're just glad to have a chance to play since it's the first year in a long time that we've hosted our tournament here that we can play in a championship game. We think we're going to have a nice crowd. We've had two nice crowds the last two days. They've helped us. I think we'll have a nice crowd tomorrow. It's a great opportunity to expose our program to a lot of people because it'll be on television as well. Talk about what Casey gave them today. Oh, tremendous effort. Tremendous effort. I mean, he threw a ton of strikes. He threw three pitches for strikes. He threw a lot of pitches. Um, he threw against us just two days ago. You really have to give him a ton of credit. I mean, he did a tremendous job. I mean, he didn't give us an inch. We thought he was going to start slowing down a little bit, breaking down. We tried some different things. We tried to take some pitches off him to try to work the count a little bit. And whatever we tried didn't work because we didn't get a sniff off him. What's your view on momentum? Do you guys have it, or does a team like Wichita State? Well, you know, momentum? it looked like we had a little bit today, didn't yeah. it, coming off of last night, at least to start the game, and then we hit the wall. You know, I, I, I'm more concerned about, you know, the fatigue of our players than anything else. I mean, you know, Wichita, they know what they have to do tomorrow. They have to win that game to get to a regional. And... Uh, that being said, they're playing it on our field, and we're going to do everything in our power to make sure they don't celebrate on our field. And you have to go in thinking that you have to win to get in? Well, if, if we have to win that thing to get in, then I don't know nothing about college baseball, you know, because that would be just, that's, it's not going to happen.
We're fighting for possibly a higher seat is what we're fighting sure. for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that being said, the, the scoreboard's going to be on and we're going to fight. You know, I don't know what we're going to fight with on the mound, but we're going to fight. There's no doubt about it. These guys aren't interested in coming out here and just saying, well, we got here, mm -hmm. and rolling over. That ain't going to happen tomorrow. Ain't's probably not a good word to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's delete that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll write okay. it out. It's <laughs> like that. <laughs>